Good morning, Calvary Chapel, French Valley. There are some great faces here, new ones and old ones that are here for the first time in a while. What a blessing, isn't it? To be able to come and worship God together, wow, what a blessing. Isn't that right? Okay, let's make sure that we're uh, um, full of energy and strength today because God needs us to be there. Well, welcome to um, our service at Hawk Ranch, those that are here, those that are watching by live stream. Um, we're just blessed to be here. Can't you just feel the fact that uh, the Lord is here? I, you know, it's such a blessing to walk in here and feel that peace that passes all understanding. Amen? Amen. The world's still in turmoil, though, isn't it? And, um, you know, we, we walk and we deal with that on a regular basis, but we need to be in prayer over that. And so you should be doing that individually, and we'll pray a little bit about that. But I just want to take a moment and say this. Today is Father's Day. What a blessing that we get an opportunity to honor fathers. Um, you guys are special. God called you to be the spiritual head of your family. And that means that you need to lead. Um, but our model, our mentor, is Father God. What did he do, and why should we look to him? Well, the Lord says in John 3, 16, what? That he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that we all might have salvation. Now, I'm not asking you to give up your son. Uh, what I am asking you is to hear what God is calling you to do on a regular basis for your family and hear the fact that God wants you to love your family unconditionally. So I want to start our service by praying over the men. And so I'm not going to pray for them. Actually, Deb is going to pray for them. But I would ask that the men, fathers, stand up. You guys at home, stand up. Um, and let's, let's pray um, over fathers. You guys are a blessing to this world. You not only need to know it, you need to do it. Okay, Deb. Please pray. Heavenly Father, we just are so grateful, Lord, for your example of the perfect Father. And we love you so much, and we want to say Happy Father's Day to you, Father mm -hmm. God. And I am so grateful for these men. I'm so grateful for how you created each one, Lord. What a blessing they are to all of us. And I pray, that, Lord, that you would just work in their hearts. Lord, as Randy mentioned, Lord, to love the way you love, to love unconditionally. And I pray also that you would speak into their hearts, Lord, and to show them how to do that. And Lord, not only to show them how to do that, but to give them the strength and the power and the will to love like you love, Lord. We pray that a special blessing that you would um, bless them as they lead their families, Lord, that you would guide and direct and that you give them discernment in that. We pray that you would just continue to um, show them exactly, Lord, uh, what your plan is for them each day. To not worry about every plan that could be done, but the, the one that you give them each and every morning to carry out, just like you did your son. And we just thank you again for this day, and we pray that it would be so special for each of these men. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You can be seated. Pastor Rick yesterday started a new series with the men. And so if you weren't part of that, you can get it, I think, online or you will be able to. But it's a great um, uh, message that we all need to hear and it's going to continue for a period of time. So be a part of that. A um, couple of other things, you know, some housekeeping things. Um, just to make sure we are committed to keeping everybody safe. Um, some of you, um, you know, if you don't understand what we're trying to do, you can go online at ccfv.life and you can see how we're trying to do that. And if you have something you want to share with us that might be helpful, please do that. But just understand that we want all of um, our body to be safe. 
okay? So go and find that out. And then I want to make sure that we understand how important it is to pray for our leadership. In case you haven't seen, leadership throughout our nation um, is up and down. And so the prayers of God's people are essential for right decisions to be made, right? So you should be in prayer for our leadership, not only at a national level, but a local level. And, all, and we always pray for Israel, right? Israel is the hub of the wheel. Um, wherever we see Israel going, we know that the world is going to follow. So we should be in prayer. So with that, let's uh, open with a word of prayer, and then um, our worship uh, team will guide you. I, I was listening to them. They're going to guide you into an opportunity to praise God. And then, man, we get a blessing to hear Pastor Rick teach this morning. Let's pray. Father, as we just bow our heads and hear the quiet of your place. You created this place, Father. We pray, Lord, that you would bless um, this country to seek after you. Lord, you founded this country. Uh, Lord, or allowed this country to be founded on the word of God. I pray for a revival to come to this country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for our president, our Congress, that you would convict their hearts to see you and only you. You tell us, Father, that if your people, and so, Lord, we are your people. We seek your face, and we will pray, Father. Touch our leadership that they would hear from you, and not only hear, but be obedient. Pray for Israel, Father, that you would touch Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, the leadership there, that they would hear from you, Father. Lord, bless this world to look towards you. Bless us, Father, to be obedient and allow us to hear your word. I pray for Pastor Rick that you would just bless his study, that as he shares in message, that our hearts would be convicted to seek your face. Thank you again for the men, uh, Lord, the spiritual leadership. And also, Lord, we're thankful for our kids and our spouses. Allow us, Father, to be those that you call to be one in the Spirit. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.